You've probably seen this effect before and it's called the dolly zoom effect. It is a common technique for filming where it makes a scene's background appear further or closer while the focus stays still by adjusting the camera lens. But what if you don't have a camera lens and you just want to do it on a picture instead of a video? Well, let me introduce 3D photo and painting to you today. It is an AI that turns your image 3D with the use of depth awareness and edge detection. What's cool about this is that it not just only work on real life photos, but it also also works on illustrations, just anything contains a sense of depth. The creator of the paper already has videos of real life images being used, which is really cool and you should definitely check it out. So in that case, I'm going to do something a bit different. First of all, this AI is built with two main parts. One is called Edge Connect for edge detection and another one is called Image in Painting where it creates new parts of the image that did not exist before, which is why this 3D photo in painting is much better than any other AI models out there as it generates a more detailed 3D image. This AI works especially well on objects where there are clear edges, but in the case of illustrations, even though they might have clear edges, but the model is still trained upon real life images, where it is trained to recognize real life edges instead of illustrated edges. And for the same reason, it also has difficulty creating new pixels. However, this can probably be fixed by training a new model for processing illustrations, but we probably won't have it anytime soon. So, as a boring AI tester, I've tried it on a lot of different illustrations. And since I'm using a variety of artworks by different artists, I think I'll probably be sued to oblivion. But that aside, I think this AI can definitely be beneficial in the future to make cool wallpapers or reduce animation time for artists to make fascinating artworks. While it still struggles to pick out details or determine whether an object is at the foreground or the background. So it leads to some weird interactions or products and it does not look that good. But on the other hand, the depth mapping has done a really good job evaluating a 2D image. And if you would kindly ignore the imperfections, I think this effect is genuinely sick. It feels like you're being involved or sucked into a story in the same fantasy or settings as the characters. It feels like the illustrations are alive too, containing way more emotions and energy than if it's just a plain perspective. I'll also upload a installation tutorial for people that are interested in playing around with this AI. And it will be uploaded on my other video dump channel, which I'll link the video and my channel in the description. Also, I still have more test results that is not put into this video. So if you want to see more of these results, check out my other channel too. And thank you guys for watching. If you haven't followed me on Twitter, go follow. Big shout out to all the artists with their amazing work that I've stolen. If you like their artwork, please support them. You can support play with them through patreon or chase their artwork or or just follow them or just comment something nice on their illustrations because these people work super hard and i feel really bad for just taking it without permissions i know like me saying this is kind of ironic but but then the truth is I probably can't get any videos done if I ask all of them for their permissions and they probably wouldn't even reply me since I'm such a small person, you know. And thank you guys for watching. 